Hey Taurus, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm going to do your 2022 yearly prediction. What's happening for you guys? If you have a sun, moon, rising, any planets, if you have in Taurus, you can watch this reading. Keep an open mind to general reading. Take what resonates. You can also book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description box. Follow me on Instagram or TikTok for daily updates and fun. So I want to talk about this. I just received the uh, messages or emails from the people that they were complaining that you did not did our signed reading. And these people were complaining that you are too late to post our sign or you just forget about our signs. And let me tell you that I am a reader, okay? But at the same time, I'm just a human like you. I also have my personal life, right? I, as I always said, and I'm going to say it again, okay? I'm going to say it again that I don't do personal readings. I don't do readings 24-7, okay? I'm not on the t this table all the time because I have my own personal life. I have my own personal matters. I have to manage a lot of things, readings and my own personal life and maybe sometimes stuff going on that I can't post, right? So you have to be mindful. You have to be respectful and you have to be understanding of someone just like not a reader to me as just like a human. Like we are humans, right? We all have our own challenges and uh, our own life, right? I know that you're waiting, but I'm definitely going to be thankful for you and grateful for you that you're here and watching this video or you're supporting me and you're subscribing me. But at the same time, I'm expecting from you that be respectful and be mindful and be understanding of me. But if you can't, then definitely you can stay or you can leave. Nobody's forcing you to be here. But don't push the pressure. Don't push me and don't put the pressure on the reader, especially on me, because I, I don't like this. Now people will be like, it's not like, like this or like this. You have to do it because yes, I'm doing it. I will do it when I have a free time. When, when I, I'm doing it, whenever the reading is uploaded, you will watch it. That's it. It's not about I'm the biased. I'm posting for other signs and not posting for you. But again, it's my choice. It's my channel. Obviously, I'm going to do it if I want to. So, yeah, let's start the reading for Taurus people out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, any planets if you have it. Let's see what's, what's the divine two door is opening and closing for you. What you are doing this year are closing. Let's see one. Yeah, one door is here. And we will see that the tarot prediction for you guys. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So you got these two doors. Let's figure it out together what these two doors are talking about, right? So we have this offerings. Abundance lies in the heart that allows share more than expected. And so love come around. Offerings, yeah. So this there is definitely, this is like Buddha here. So yeah, there could be some type of um, offerings are coming. There will be a lot of opportunities for you guys this year opening for you. Uh, this could be in any matters of your life. But there is definitely, I feel like a lot of opportunities are coming. Now next card is the inner power. By your own command, you bought yourself here at this moment in life. You have nothing to fear. Yeah. So a lot of you, this could be your own wisdom that you need to use, your own intuition, your wisdom, your knowledge, because you already come through afar. Okay. Now let's see from this um, Marmot Oracle card, what is the theme for you this year? Let's see. What is the theme for Taurus people this year, please, Brett? Okay, thank you. Why everyone is getting this? I think I should take it back. Because this came up in the previous reading too. If it's came up again, then definitely it's for you. No, this is here, yeah. So maybe that card was not made for you. We have 24, we have the soul cage. Uh, rescue, escape from um, captivity and restriction. Look at this. It's like someone is saving you. I hope you can see the card here. I love the beauty, the art of this deck card. Look at this, 24. So you could be 24 years old or 42. And number six is important. And we know that this year is all about Venus, six, right? So there's definitely a healing here, but it's looked like someone is saving you. This mermaid is saving you. So if you're a masculine here, there could be a feminine coming into your life who is going to be a light for you or medicine for you, I'm hearing, or heal you. And this could be talking about um, patient and doctor type of relationship. I could be just like, uh, like acquaintances or healer, uh, but this could be uh, 
wow, this is someone who's definitely going to help you, rescue you from these restrictions and this blockage and your own darkness. Wow, interesting. So let's see what we can see more here. So either this could be your feminine or, the, um, or ma masculine, whoever it is, but I feel like masculine is wounded here. Masculine is hurt here and feminine is, is, is protecting it. Now, you know better wherever your gender is, does not have to be gender, but it's energy of feminine and masculine. We know that masculine energy is more, um, more dominant, more controlling, more powerful, um, but feminine energy is more receptive, more loving, more generous. So that's why I'm talking about like feminine energy is protecting that masculine here, are saving it. Wow, let's see. It's like masculine is wounded here. Masculine is giving up already gave up on things so maybe this is you you're almost there to give up but the universe is sending you someone like no it's like a soul cage someone is protecting you rescuing you from the soul cage from your own self from your own mind from your own soul from your own um negative thoughts and patterns someone is protecting you saving you someone is going to help you it's not like they will save you but definitely it's like showing you the way showing you the light let's see now if this is a woman, she had could be ginger or red hair, does not have to be. And if this is a male, they have a definitely blonde hair, a long hair, like a very masculine, thick body. Now, let's see. What is the theme for you this year? There's a lot here. So, universe is saying, take it. Okay, thank you. Um, you got the door to spirit, 32. And we also have second chakra, archangel, Ariel, 36. Yes, yes. So, you could be 32 or 36 year old, does not have to be. Look at this all yellow in the card. So sacral chakra is all about feminine energy again. Wow. Wow. You could be a feminine watching this video. It does not have to be male or female. Or you are going to be more focused on your feminine energy this year. You're going to be more focused on your love, your romance, your in, your, your healing. You know, connecting with your, with your divine purpose, your soul purpose, and connecting with the more spirit. I'm also seeing the orange here. So orange is a sign of symbolism of definitely happiness. It's, it's just like living in the happiness, living in the moment, enjoying your life, loving your life. So there's definitely something I feel like it somehow I'm picking up this is like a divine is protecting you or sending you someone like a help or guiding you or showing you like this door is opening for you. And again, you can see this angel wings here too. So and the door here of angels and we also have this soul cage like someone is divine feminine is protecting you. Or this could be you divine feminine watching this video, but this is like you are going to save yourself from this dark uh, soul cage or you're going to rescue yourself or, or there is a divine. Is, is divine is going to send you a help, like uh, showing you a path or way, like how to get over this. How definitely they're telling you that um, they're going to show you the way. They're going to show you the path. There's also, I told you, like offering is opportunities are coming. So doors are opening for you. This is like door to spirit. This year is definitely going to connect with a lot of spirit, a lot of your wisdom, your knowledge. You're also going to be more spiritual. And Taurus is ruled by obviously it's, it's uh, Venus, right? And this is your year. So you're going to be definitely more in your feminine side, more in your feelings, more in your emotions, healing your pattern, relationships pattern, could be healing from your past, could be healing from your trauma. It's like also talking about sacral chakra. It's all about emotions. It's all about romance. It's healing. But at the same time, feminine energy, being reciprocative to love and romance, maybe if you have been closed off emotionally or you were hurt in the past, you're going to heal yourself this year. Interesting. Very beautiful energy here. Again, I'm seeing here orange hair, red hair, ginger hair of someone. Or maybe this is you. You're going to dye this year here. But you maybe, you, if you're the feminine watching this video, you're going to rescue your divine masculine. Or you're going to meet someone that who needs your healing, who needs your love. Something like this I'm picking up here. But this is also talking about you're going to realize your own inner power. You know, you're going to realize your own inner strength and power, how to overcome through this challenge, these obstacles that is in the way but it's also it's about your soul purpose like there's something that is very heavy in your hole that you're gonna you're gonna connect with your spirit and heal yourself yeah we have the milk and honey number 51 so another six wow really yeah another six so this is your year i'm also saying rainbow so you could be from rainbow tribe does not have to be yeah, milk and honey. So this year is definitely all about sweetness. It's honey. It's romance. It's also sweetness like coming from your, like your wishes are coming true. Your dreams are coming true. Okay. You're also going to be maybe work on your creativity more this year. You're going to be more um, maybe popular if you have some type of creative work because there's a, definitely a lot of opportunities coming towards you. 
you're gonna be on the top okay and uh, you will be also I, i'm hearing that you will be on the top of your game in your work in your in your career in your success okay because you're going to show your the real you the real side of you you're going to show your talent your skills your creativity this year you're definitely going to be more strong this year internally on a soul level internally emotionally mentally you will be in the right place i'm hearing with the 32 is if you add it it's number five so there will be a lot of changes in your life this year and also you could be closing some type of karmic cycles letting someone go um standing in your power five of pentacles yes so this is you maybe right now but it's like two people are hurting here it's not only one person it's two people here hurting yeah so and we can see that these two people here too so maybe this is your divine uh, masculine or feminine if you are in a soulmate or twin flame connection does not have to be yeah i said soulmate and we got the card here knight of pentacles eight of swords energy six of cups yeah this is your soulmate or could be friend could be platonic relationship you could be a mother watching this video this could be about your uh, single mother you have a lot of responsibility on yourself but this could be also a lot of things because six of cups is also childhood so could be you have a childhood trauma that you're going to heal this year you will get out of your now there's definitely some blockage here knight of cups yes i want to clear this eight of swords what is this eight of swords here devil i told you oh my god this this is that we're talking about soul cage what is the five of pentacles here yeah king of swords reverse here okay bottom of the deck is the six of wands you're going to be victorious by the way don't worry at the end of the day you will be happy and you will definitely be successful whatever you're doing with the six of wands here is a source yeah there will be a um, lot of you know clarity success i told you like you will be popular you will be successful you could be winning some type of battles or courses and uh, this could be a kid kid battle okay um custody of the child or could be a marriage you could be getting divorced or something but if you're looking for a divorce maybe this is not the year to, that you will get divorced because i feel like maybe next year okay if you are uh yeah because there's some type of financial matters involved here blockages involved here um with the six of wands and so definitely could be talking about uh, again talking about living in your truth being successful people are definitely going to recognize you're going to speak your truth and with the six of wands could be communication coming from someone if you have been if someone ghosted you with the five of pentacles and king of swords you here if someone ghosted you they're coming they're going to approach you this year so you maybe feel left out in the cold or this person maybe feel left out in the cold uh you could be dealing with capricorn aries uh aquarius again i'm picking up um earth sign could be another earth sign or water sign but this is your sign with the nine of pentacles this is you so and two knights here okay but this could be you you're also planting the seeds for your future creativity success a lot of opportunities and offers are coming to you we also have a black and white horse i just noticed that and we also have this this soul cage again masculine and feminine for me so you could be coming out of a dark with this um, black horse to white horse you could be coming out from your dark to light again you're finding your light you're finding your purpose you're finding you may be getting out of your depression for some of you with the eight of swords and the devil it could be depression it could be blockages it could be obstacles it could be addictions it could be anything that you need to get out of your head because you are in the way it's all about your head that is stopping you to move forward to stopping you to do whatever you want to do because with the six of cups and eight, knight of cups you maybe want to date someone you may be in love with someone but there's your blockages is stopping you it could be anything they're saying that open your heart for love and receive it okay with the knight, six of cups and knight of cups this could be someone coming from the past or this could be someone that you're meeting and it it is definitely a soulmate energy here you will be successful you may be officially dating this person this year uh you will be but i'm strongly feeling it is going to happen next 6 months not just early 6 month of the year um because it is going to be very slow process getting to know each other one is a very dark energy and one is a very light or this could be you just coming out from dark to light because someone is rescuing you someone is saving you or protecting you or guiding you to get out of your head uh, we have the five of pentacles and king of swords some of you i told you could be going through some financial difficulties but obviously it is going to be a slow process slow process and you will not understand that why it's happening but at the end of the day you will be extremely happy there will be offers coming that you will be extremely happy this is also talking about divorce i told you it's a delay right now still blockages so uh, maybe next year or maybe end of the year uh, and for some of you this is i'm talking about this someone who ghosted you or emotionally unavailable to you will reach out to you and finally telling you that let's let's date let's be together okay 
So there's definitely a lot of ups and downs here this year, but you're existing this year is like with a lot of love, with romance and offer with success. Okay, your all wishes will come true or whatever you have been waiting for, it is coming true to you. Okay, so this is your reading. Gonna see you later. Bye.